Okay, so what we're doing today is we're doing some pickle beets. So what we've done over here is we're cooking some beets. We've got about three small ones and two large ones of it from 10 to 20 minutes to cook. We'll check them with a fork to know for sure. So we're getting this started. Next we're going to be doing is the pickling sauce. These are the ingredients we're going to be using to pickle the beets. Ground allspice, cloves, salt. We're going to use sugar and a raw for the sugar. And this is half a cup. When we need a cup of white distilled vinegar. Then we're next, the next step is we're going to put the vinegar in. We're going to put the sugar in next. And then we're putting in the cloves. And then we're putting in the allspice. And then the salt on the stove and we're going to boil it for five minutes. So here's the flame. Okay, so we're going to check the progress. And now it's boiling. And we're going to mix it. This is for a small batch. A small batch of, of red beets. I'm going to be keeping this in the refrigerator. If you're doing canning, it's totally different. We just got this low carb chef multi slicer set from Sears. So what we're doing now is we're washing the individual pieces. It comes with the base. This is the anode so you don't chop your fingers off. And this is the slicer part that goes between the blades. You'll see how I put it together. It also comes with these other attachments. This is for a grater on this side. These are for french fries. You can see how the blades would chop the french fries. And this is for juliennes. So this is a good slicer that we got for a really good price at Sears. And we could also slice the beets on it too. Now over here, I'm just basically just, it's never been washed. So we're gonna wash this off and then let it uh, sit on a towel to dry. That's the timer for the beets. Now to assemble it, is you just simply lay this on top, like this. That's sturdy. All right, so after you've cooked them in the oven for about 40 minutes, these were much thicker, we're going to drain them in the, in the sink. And using cold water, we're going to peel them off. You see how they peel right off? And I have a lot of calluses on my hands, so I'm peel I volunteer to peel them. My wife, what she likes to do is wait a little longer and then she peels them later. And just for now, we're putting them in this container so I have a holding place for the clean. See these big ones, the top just comes right off. And you're just peeling it off with your hands. You're not even having to use a knife or nothing. These are fresh beets from our garden. And then after that, do the next one. Well, not good when it bounces away from you, but you just make sure you get all of the, the skins off. Yep, the left one on this one. And these are still hot. You can feel it with your fingers. And I did is I changed it from hot water to cold water because the beets were burning my fingers. All right, so this one is all done. We only have we only have one more. And you can see it's just coming right off. And this top you just push off cross with your thumb. Okay. So now these are, see, you can see the steam coming off the top. That's how warm they are. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to slice them. All right, so what we're going to do next, don't use your hands. Try to use the implement that comes with it. It's really easy to chop your fingers. Just putting in the, the attachment, I hurt myself. So slice it across. And what is that doing? You can see on the bottom, you have nice, nicely sliced beets on the bottom of the plate. And when you get to the very end, you have a nice thin piece already, so you don't have to worry. Another example, put it just in, put it on top. 
as I go across, back and forth. Okay, and then the last piece, you could cut that if you wanted to, but you wouldn't be using the slicer. And big piece here, I lay it on top, back and forth. Just go slowly so you get a nice even cut for your beat. Okay, so you see here you have a nice even cut. Okay. What's happening here is the beats are get, getting mounted up on the top. So that happens, you just kind of move your plate around. There. Okay, so you thank you. Put it in the middle. So here are the boats and beats, and this is where we're going to to put the solution in with the beats to, to um, cure them, to pickle them. All right, so I'm going to put this slightly to the side here, and I'm going to continue taking care of these beats. This will be easy. We'll put it like this. And we're just going to go through. slice it all the way down to the end. So for ten dollars you can buy yourself a mandolin at a really good deal. Okay, so now you have all this. You can so I show you the difference. You have you have perfectly cooked these are hot. Perfectly cooked nice large slices along with your smaller slices. Okay I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna put the pickling sauce in. And it's fairly easy to wash this I basically just rinsed it because I may have another job for it. Okay, so that's it right there. Okay, so next what we're going to do, we're going to put our solution. This is a stainless steel bowl. We're going to put the beets in. Very carefully, we're going to pour our pickling solution. Okay, so now we're going to stick them in a fridge, bowl and all, and in a refrigerator. And then we're going to store them in a plastic container and store that in our fridge as well. And then that's how we're going to eat it. This is just what we have right now. So the next step we do after this, the beets have cooled down in the refrigerator is we put them in this bowl, in this container. This container has got a lid, so we'll be able to store this in our fridge and we'll have these nice freshly pickled beets. So I'm using a slotted spoon, but you can use any spoon you want. I'm just trying to keep the mess under control. Yes, beet stain if you don't know already. If they don't fit, you can eat them. When they're fresh like this, they taste wonderful in salads. These pickled beets will taste wonderful in salads. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it in this bowl, and I'm going to pour it very carefully into this, into this other bowl, I like guess. Okay, then you just put the cover on top. And wash off the container because it's going to have pickling juice and beet juice everywhere. You know, don't forget to clean up your mess. You want to pick, do this pretty quick because whatever you touch, it's going to stain. So just like this towel, I managed to get some liquid on it. See right here. So we're going to take that off right now. And you can do it right now, but if it dries, that's the end of it. It's going to be red forever. Okay. All right. Now we're going to stick it in the fridge, and we'll have this for the future. Okay. Now you've seen how to do pickled beets. Thank you for watching.